basically the max fill. You've got a few hundred calories in one portion of pudding, but obviously it's not for the faint-hearted. You know, you, you don't come here if you're going to be on a diet. You, you know, you got to come here to eat and eat plenty of it. So yeah, and enjoy it. One of the expressions I use is like a medieval banquet with custard. It's a fun thing centred around the Great British Pud. So people this evening are going to come along, meet each other, they'll be sat together, strangers sat together, uh, have a drink, discuss puddings and their little family history of favourites will come out. I'll explain the rules of what's going to happen this evening and, and the story of the Pudding Club to those who haven't been before. And then they're going to have uh, what we call a modest main course. No bread, no starters, because they take up valuable room. Before we then have a parade of seven traditional puds. There's a whole mixture of puddings this evening for people to enjoy. And then after the parade, they'll start to work their way through eating the seven puddings. We'll spend about two hours eating puddings. The secret of his success is that a little bit of what you fancy does you good. Uh, an indulgence, some chocolate, some cream, some butter. You don't eat that every day in today's health conscious society. But it gives a great feeling to have a great evening of puddings and camaraderie and fun. Each meeting has seven traditional puddings, but at each meeting there's a different range of puddings. There are two or three which nearly always feature, and sticky toffee and syrup sponge are amongst them, and then there'll be four or five which will be different on each occasion. <laughs> Because I would suggest that the Pudding Club, like so many other good things in life, is about little and often. This is the home of the Pudding Club, ladies and gentlemen. We do not run out. <laughs> You've got a rumble in the oven, have you? Huh? Okay. That's the sticky toffee. The pride of the pudding club, syrup sponge. <laughs>
Chef Mark Rowlandson with Lord Randall's oh. Pudding. Oh. And last, by no means least, a big cheer, please, for Jam Rowley Polly. So the hard part is deciding what you're going to have. Well, I've gone for the rhubarb crumble, and uh, it's absolutely delicious. It's, the rhubarb is very soft and sweet, and the crumble is um, crumbly and not too buttery, and it's really fantastic. Uh, I think it's a good idea to pace yourself this evening, but I'm not. I'm still not sure that I'll be able to eat all seven because I had rather a lot of the uh, beef start the beef main course, which was absolutely delicious. Um, but um, you know, I'm hoping I'll be able to get through all seven puddings. Um, I don't particularly have a sweet tooth, but I do actually like sticky toffee pudding and uh, the appeal of the chocolate and nut pudding. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, I think it's fantastic. I think it is totally eccentric, you know, but I just hope there's only one of them. We don't want any, want any competition for it. <sighs> well, to be honest with you, I actually didn't know it existed um, until my sister-in-law um, told me about it and it just seemed like it's all the things that I like so, so I thought yes we'll have some of that but, uh, yeah Puds Jam Roly Poly you may have guessed is my uh, favourite super <laughs> the best I've ever had that's uh, yeah so I'm looking forward to number two <laughs> A bit of toffee sauce yeah. and a bit of custard on the side. Whatever sir. you say, because you're professional. It well. <laughs> That's very kind of you, sorry. There we go. Try that. Nice combination, the three. Again, I'm on portion number five, and they are getting slightly smaller each time because I'm, I'm going to hit the full seven before we start again. Well, I think most of the population will come here and eat here once a year, and the other 364 days of the year doesn't really matter, does it? So, you know, I think we're on very, very good ground. Uh, we've got to the stage now just where some people are thinking, what have I got myself into? And others are just getting second wind and ready for it, really. So we're about to separate the men from the boys. Well, on average, we've got seven puddings here, and on average we make four of each. So we will have made 28 puddings this evening. It's scary, isn't it? But I think Jam Roly Poly's got to win it every time. But we'll see. <laughs> now, if you're just thinking now, oh, I've already had five, I'm not sure I can do two more. You have a, a small portion now, then a few minutes' time, a teaspoonful of the seventh one, you've had all seven. Right, we'll go for it. So let's go, go for it. Come on, come on. Let's go for it. Number six. It is the, the squidgy chocolate nut. And that's the one to save till last. However, many of you are now waiting for your seventh, eighth. I don't know if anybody fancies the idea of 19 puddings tonight. Scary, isn't it? If you'd like another pudding, you don't have to wait for our invitation. Do come along. We'll then bring some tea and coffee to your table, and then we'll take the vote for pudding of the night. So if there's one you haven't tried, come and try it now so we can get your vote. Come for a pudding.
Bit of toffee sauce, bit of a little bit of both definitely. How many is that? Sorry? Just halfway to the record then. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I interrupt you for the last time to ask you give you ask you to give some consideration to your vote for pudding of the night. What about the more unusual college pudding? How did that one do? I enjoyed him. One, two, three, four. What about the rest of you? Jam roly poly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But a bigger hand tonight for the pudding of the night. Your vote for 23 votes for sticky toffee and date pudding. I, w I went for the college pudding. College pudding was the first pudding, but I'm sure the best. But by the end of the evening, I sang the seventh pudding. It was difficult to appreciate it because I think my taste buds were rather worn out and the stomach is getting a bit flaccid and tired. I should be working it off in the gym all next week. <laughs> the answer to both is 11. This is it. This is the last one. <laughs> Just room for one more. Just room for the last one. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.